Welcome to Dining with Dan. So tonight I'm going to show you how to make the perfect prime rib. Okay, so to start this dish we're going to want to preheat our oven to 500 degrees. Take our herbs. Here I have some thyme and I have some rosemary. We want about two tablespoons each of fresh, 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 fresh. I'm going to take your rosemary. Same thing. We're going to get these, take these leaves off of there. Probably my two favorite herbs. Definitely, both of them have very strong, distinct flavors. Just add a lot of, a lot of flavor to any whatever you put them on. I'm going to take a cup of softened butter, basically a stick of butter. You don't want it melted though. So basically I set this out, it's still a little bit solid, so I threw it in the microwave with a soft melt, softened melt. Only threw it in there for a few seconds. And there we're going to take our herbs. Add that to the butter. Alright, so to that we're going to take a tablespoon tablespoon of black pepper we're also going to take two tablespoons of salt And we're gonna want, you're gonna want about seven cloves of garlic to basically it's about one and a quarter tablespoons. You don't want to do this a few hours in advance too because it's going to take about, about two and a half hours to cook the meat. So once that's well mixed up we're going to take our meat. We're basically going to spread that. Right here I have a, about a five pound roast. Oops. 
we're going to take and put this in a roasting pan with a rack in it, bone side down. came off when I flipped it over. Put it back on that. Okay, so once our oven is preheated to 500 degrees, we're going to throw this in and we're going to cook it for about five minutes per pound. This is uh, about five pounds, so I'm going to throw this in there for 25 minutes. Set the timer. 25 minutes and we'll come back and finish it up from there oh my god this smells amazing so once this is cooked for the time that it needs to cook like I said five minutes per pound so this has been 25 minutes I'm going to clear we're gonna turn the heat off in this oven and keep it shut don't touch it don't open it at all and you want to let it sit in there in the residual heat for two hours. And then we'll come back and we'll cut, carve this puppy up and try it out. Okay, so it's been two hours. We're gonna pull this out. And, oh my God, that looks amazing. There, I'm going to put this on to a put this onto a tray. Check the temperature, make sure it's done. <laughs> what are you doing? And for medium rare, you want this around between 130 and 140, and it looks like we are right there at 135. So we are perfect. Slice it up or serve it up. Just slice through the string. I didn't mean to do that. Should pull those out first. Close. Serve this up and try it out. And there you have it. The perfect prime rib. Mm. Tender, juicy. If you don't want it being rare, you can always cook it a little longer. But I wouldn't recommend it any more than medium rare. Anyway, like this video, you want to see more like it? Please subscribe. Like the recipe, you want to try it out for yourself? I'll put it down in the description below. Mm. I want to thank you for stopping by. I'll see you again soon.